Hello everyone, my name is Ernie Gonzalez. I'm San Jose State's football beat writer with The Spear. Uh, welcome back to another edition of The Spear Hot Take. We're here inside SefQ Stadium, week five of football already, if you can believe that. Uh, coming off a of bye, San Jose State Spartans. Again, we're here inside SefQ Stadium with... Jose Drill, staff writer for The Spear. That's right, um, and Jose, we're here to break down uh, this, this week's upcoming matchup with, you know, against Hawaii, the high-flying Rainbow Warriors. Uh, break down San Jose State football, get ready for another week. Obviously, it's homecoming week, uh, so get ready for another week of football, and you know, hopefully we can see a packed house here come, yeah. uh, come Saturday. Yeah, exciting week, homecoming week. You know, the fans are going to be into it. The students are going to be ready. They're going to be pumped. Let's see if, if the Spartans can match that intensity and show up and uh, produce and put up, put up some points, produce a good game against Hawaii. Um, the Rainbow Warriors, they're, they're a good team, much improved from last season, Ernie. Yeah, yeah, you mentioned put up points. It's kind of been on and off for these Spartans. Uh, you know, first week, 38 against UC Davis, obviously a loss. Uh, second week, they were shut out. You know, went up to Washington State, Pullman, 31-0. Mike Leach and that offense kind of uh, had us by the hook. So um, now it's, you know, or obviously week, week three, they went up to Oregon, and they actually surprised a lot of uh, Spartan faithful, you know, uh, put up 22 points. That's not bad, especially considering you come off a 31-0 loss to another Pac-12 school and you face the Ducks the very next week. Uh, you know, only lose by 13 when, you know, experts thought it, would, it was going to be 41. So, uh, you know, definitely, you know, the point factor has to be there for these Spartans come, come uh, you know, Saturday when they do match up against uh, Hawaii being, you know, it's first Mountain West, it's the first Mountain West uh, game of the, of the year, right? Uh, you don't want another 0-5, 0-6 start to the Mountain West season as they had, Coach Brandon and these Spartans had last season. Uh, you want to get off on that right foot, just like everyone does, right? Hawaii already did get their get their start against Colorado State. And talk yeah. about Hawaii a little bit more. Uh, well, Hawaii, they're going to come in, they're high-powered offense. Uh, Rolovich, he loves to run that run-and-shoot offense, which Cole McDaniels has mastered so far. This is, and it leads the nation in passing, I think, 1,759 yards passing already. That's through five games, uh, that's a lot. So San Jose State, the good thing is they did face uh, Mike Leach, like you said, in Washington State, Oregon. They played UC Davis. They have played some high-powered offenses. So I expect them to not be thrown off, not be surprised uh, when Hawaii comes in and they have a great receiver in John Ursua. So uh, let's see what, let's see if, let's see how, how good the, the Spartans could come out and not get punched in the first and second quarter because that's been their big problem this season. They've been coming out and teams have been scoring the first drive and putting up 30 points in, by halftime. Yeah, yeah, I mean, something that, you know, you mentioned, high-powered offenses, right? They've already had that experience. Who has the defense? Who has, who has that experience? The defense, right? So when the defense has that experience against a high-powered offense, you, you know, you look at who's doing well, all right? You got... You know, top 10 in the whole FBS right now in terms of interceptions, right? Yeah. Six interceptions to three games. Um, wowing, right? Um, you know, Dakari Monroe, like I keep calling him, the CEO of that secondary. Uh, you got John Ursua, I mean, sorry, not John Ursua, uh, Jesse, Jesse Osuna, right? Yeah. Um, another, a linebacker, right? Who has, has surprised a lot of people, come in really hard worker, hard worker. Um, couple you know, picks, couple some picks, hands. yeah. Um, and then you know a couple of the, uh, the younger guys as well back there have, have their have had their interceptions. So it's good to see this team uh, kind of you know unifying, especially especially the defense. Uh, you know ha haven't been allowing that that rusher to just you know run rumble all over them. And good to see them kind of you know that chemistry working. Yeah, they're zero three, but Mountain West play starting. It's homecoming week again. They're they're, they're yeah, here at home. Next topic. Let, let's jump to quarterback. Um, you know, I remember in, this, in the first Spear hot take, uh, big, big emphasis on this quarterback position. Coach Brennan is just, is just a sneaky guy. He doesn't want to leak information to any other to any other school. So, you know, week zero, you know, he didn't really want to release it, but it ended up being Josh Love uh, to start for the Spartans. Uh, had, had an okay first game, uh, and then Montel Aaron stepped in. Montel Aaron stepped in. Uh, two touchdowns, 254 yards. And you know, a quarter and a half against UC Impressive, Davis. Yeah. yeah, and then Montel shut down. He disappeared. Uh, according to some sources, I did hear that Josh Love did exit that UC Davis game because of a concussion. Um, but Montel Aaron stepped on, on onto the field against Washington State. Couldn't even put up a point. And week three, Josh Love got the start. Or yeah, yeah, Josh Love got the start. Um, and he went out there and 
pretty much ball and let, let a team, you know, a lot of check downs, a lot of first downs, uh, kind of put, you know, kind of put a sense of life to, to that San Jose State offense. Uh, who do you think is going to be this week? Um, even though it would not be the choice I would make, I think it's going to be Josh Love. I think he, I think he, his performance against Oregon and with how you're talking about the shutout loss against Washington State is really going to help Josh Love keep keep his spot. Um, so I, I do believe he's going to be the starter, but I, if it was my personal opinion, I'm, I would still roll with Montel Ryan. I think what I think is hurting him is he's they putting him in, they take him out, someone gets hurt in front of him, he's going in, and he's a starter, then he's not. I think if, if he were to have a little bit more consistency, if Brandon would be like, you know what, Montel, this is your team. You're taking us. Like, you're the starter week in, week out. You know, this is this is this is you're our starter. Then I would think he would play with a lot more confidence. Maybe not worry about am I going to be taken out? Am I on a short leash? You know, am I going to? I just threw this interception. Like, am I going to get taken out? And um, I think that's who should, who should be the starter. But again, I'm not the coach. Josh Love, I can honestly say he, he did play well. So I'm not going to totally be against it. But I would I would go with Aaron. I think in terms of le uh, leash, sorry, um, it it, it, ha it has to be you know Josh Love has to have one leash, right? Um, he's been around the team longer. Uh, he knows, you know, he, he's been, he, he's adapted to this new coaching staff, I, I think, a bit more quicker than, than Montel Aaron. Obviously, Montel had the redshirt year, so um, I think Josh Love, if he can go, if, I think he's going to get the start. Uh, Coach Brennan did say yesterday at the press conference, the weekly press conference, that he's still going to be kind of, you know, on both sides, you know, putting him in based on, you know, situations. So, uh, I still think it's going to be Josh Love, and I think Josh Love has more potential right now. I think he just has a little bit more confidence, given that he just went up to Oregon. He's back home. He's a, little, a bit more settled down, settled down more. Uh, so I do think it's going to be it's going to be Josh Love, and I think it's going to be him a lot more than Aaron uh, in you know from now on. So uh, hopefully Aaron does does you know kind of kind of you know get back in there. But for now, I think it's going it's to be Josh Love. Uh, one key performer that you like so far in these three weeks? Um, any side of the ball? Any side of the ball. I'm gonna go ahead and give my props to the D linemen, the all of all of every single one, from Boogie Roberts to Latu to um, everyone. All, all Scott. They've all they've all been playing. They've all been playing good. Um, and you know what? I don't even want to say one player. I mean, I want to, but it, I think it's just the D line together, man. You, compared to last year's run defense, it's it's really improved. It's really improved. They've I believe they've been giving up somewhere around 140 rushing yards uh, a game, which may, might sound like a lot, but in college football, it's not that much, and especially compared to last season, um, it's it's been a big, big improvement. So um, I would say the D-line, um, Boogie Roberts has been having a really solid season so he's far, so I can definitely say Boogie yeah. Roberts, he's, he's shown his leadership, his, and he stepped it up along that whole D-line. Yeah, I, th I think anytime you see Boogie, we see, we see Boogie a lot. Anytime you just see him around, he's always like on that focus mode. Yeah, you know? yeah. His, his face is just, yes, the, the intensity is always there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go with Josh Oliver, um, you know, popular guy around here. I think any sa same same kind of situation. You see you see Josh Oliver, he's always he's walking around with a weight in his hand. You know, he's, he, he, every single team is Believe me, San Jose State is lucky to have this guy. Uh, every single team around the country needs a Josh Oliver right now. I think, except for Stanford, who they always have, you know, that, that tight end mentality. You know, every every single game, they're kind of known for that. Every single team in the country needs someone like a Josh Oliver, and I think just the numbers that he's putting up, uh, the type of leader he is right now. Uh, he, this this team definitely feeds off his energy. Um, for sure, so that's gonna be that's gonna be my guy. I think, I think uh, Josh Oliver is a very has a very unique size skill set, you know, combination. So um, yeah, he's he's one of the Spartans, man. He can he can continue it. You never know what you know around April, around what happens. You know, I'm not saying he's gonna be in the NFL, but he, he nah, definitely has. He, a, can, he, he can. Yeah, yeah. He, he definitely has the sure. potential. All right, so on to predictions, uh, Jose. What's gonna go down? Uh, I think it's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be a lot of energy in the stadium, homecoming week. Um, you know what that brings with the fans and with the students. Uh, but I do believe why they are the better team. They are the more improved team from last last year. Uh, the Spartans played them close last season at home. I think at, at Hawaii, I think it was somewhere 36, 27, something like that. Um, but I think it's gonna be two years in a row where Hawaii defeats San Jose State. This time it's gonna be here. Uh, score. I'm gonna go ahead and give a 35, 21. 
uh, Hawaii. I think the Spartans will be able to get some points up. Hawaii's not known for their defense. There's that run and shoot offense, like I said. Um, but I do, I do think the Spartans will put up some points. I don't think it's going to be enough. I just think, like I said, McDonald or so well, that offense is going to be high powered. They're going to come and they're going to put up some points, and I think they'll be able to 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 win within four, win by about 14 points. It's fu it's funny you mentioned it last season, right? Uh, last season, that was the game where everybody kind of started leaning on Montel Aaron because Montel Aaron, that, that, that was, I believe, his first or second breakout start. Game. If I'm not, yeah, breakout game. Uh, another breakout game from Rasheed Johnson. That, that, that was a whole kickoff return that uh, in Hawaii. Uh, the Spartans were up, I believe. They scored first in that game. It was, it was high scoring. It was uh, uh, definitely a battle. They ended up on the losing end. I, I see a similar game um, here at home for these Spartans. Uh, I see somewhere along the lines of 20, uh, 27, 34, 34, 27, something like that. Uh, I do think the Spartans can put up point, points and put up points early. Uh, but I just think, you know, like you mentioned, Cole McDonald is a, is a freaky dude. And he's, he's, he's a young guy who's come in here and really took them out west by storm. And I think uh, he's going to continue that. I just think uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully, hopefully these Spartans can you know, pull off the win. But I, I do think uh, it's going to be probably about a touchdown difference. So that's going to do it for this week. Uh, catch us next week as the Spartans take on the Colorado State Rams. We'll be here again at SFQ Stadium. Uh, but for the time being, that's it. Uh, catch us next week. See ya.